own the biggest, most stacked, and most expensive account in all of Apex Legends. Every heirloom and prestige given the game with 2,000 plus spare heirloom shards. Every skin for every legend and weapon, every charm in the game, every banner frame, pose, absolutely everything. And on top of that, all of my account stats from kills to wins to pred badges and everything else are all in the top 0.01%. So let's go check out my account, all of its stats and the rarest skins and everything else it has. So here we are, the most expensive account in all of Apex, my account. What better place to start off than head over to the heirlooms? As you can see, I own almost every heirloom in that game. I was actually saving to buy this heirloom, the crypto recall that randomly appeared in the store a month or two ago, just so that I could complete my entire heirloom collection live in this video for you guys with my absurd 2,250 out of 150 heirloom shards. Yes, that's a lot, I know. But let's do it. Crypto's recolor heirloom. Honestly, looks pretty cool, like a little koi fish kind of in some aspects. I love it. I think it's nuts. Don't really play crypto much, but hey, heirloom's an heirloom. We take those. And now I officially have every heirloom in the game. Octane's recolor, Crypto's recolor, Fusies, Revenants, Horizons, Ashes, and so on, so on. I won't go through them all because, well, they're just heirlooms. You guys know what they are. But you can see that I own every single heirloom in the game. The most expensive ones to the cheapest ones to even Mirage's silly half-wit looking statue. We own all of them. Absolutely all of them. Of course, we own the prestige skins as well. They're all max leveled up as well. Absolutely awesome. But Burno, what about the current event, the current universal heirloom, the Cobalt one that just came out? Yes, of course I own that. Uh, as you can see, we own all the skins here and we own the heirloom itself. And along with that, we get the death box Plus, we own the last death box and we own the other universal heirloom as well, which I can show you if I go in here and I go into melee. We own the Buster Sword from the Final Fantasy Collection event and the death box that came with it. And then, of course, we own the one I just told you about as well, which is super cool. Actually, a pretty cool looking uh, heirloom, not gonna lie. What do you guys think of these heirlooms, by the way? What do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know. What do you guys think of the two universal heirlooms in the game? Do you guys like them? I feel like the Buster Sword, while they were expensive, we're not gonna do how expensive they were because that was silly, but I feel like the Buster Sword's cool because, you know, it's Final Fantasy, it's a, in collaboration. But I feel like this is just like, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't really like it, I'm gonna be honest. But hey, what's um Talking about heirlooms, I am also doing an heirloom giveaway for multiple heirlooms. So uh, I'm gonna hide that information in this video somewhere. So look for that and maybe you'll win some. On my account, I also have about 10,000 crafting materials at the moment. Three and a half million legend tokens. Let me know in the comments below how many legend tokens do you have? Do you know anyone that has more legend tokens than me? I don't think I've ever found a person that does, but I'm sure maybe there might be someone out there. Currently I have about 9,000 Apex coins on there as well. But as for the crafting materials, why do I have so many? Well, when you own every single item in the game and you open packs, this is what happens. You get nothing but crafting materials. Would have been funny if I got an heirloom then, not gonna lie, but yeah. Now, I am about to show you my collection of all the rarest skins in the game, but before we do that, another thing that makes my account worth so, so, so much money is just the amount of playtime and the amount of things I have on it. So my wins, my kills, my trackers, and all that kind of stuff. So as here, you can see my overall stats in the entire game. I have over 50,000 games played. Almost 13,000 wins with a 23% win rate. This insane stat puts me in the overall top 15 wins in all of Apex. As a couple of names on this tracker are glitched out like the guy in first. I have almost 200,000 kills. This many kills puts me top 25 in the world for kills. I would show you the tracker, but there's about 30 broken accounts on there, so it wouldn't help. I'm going to be honest, not the best to KD, not the best to average damage. But that's because I do stupid things for content and, and lowers it. And I was also really, really, really bad when the first game came out. Uh, 29 is my highest kill. I've got that twice. I, one day I'll break the 30 bomb, I believe. One day, maybe. Probably not. 10 is my longest win streak. All that kind of stuff there. As you can see, my amazing banner frame over here as well. We have the Kraber, 1,336 kills. Actually, the number one Kraber kills in the entire world. I have more Kraber kills than anyone that's ever played this game. And, of course, the one arena kill, my, my favorite tracker. 121,000 kills on Watson. This actually puts me at number 6 in the world for Watson kills and number 2 on PC. I used to be 1 overall for both, but I stopped grinding Watson kills. I am going to go through and show you all my skins in the entire game. All my rare ones for Watson, all my rare exclusive Wraith skins, 
every skin in the entire game as I do actually own every single skin in the game. As you can see, right here with the baller badge, I have 1,578 legendary items. I will be honest, there's about six or seven that I am missing, but they will come back to the store eventually and I will get them. Also have the uh, ALGS Pro badge here. The new Nessie badge that just came out, pretty nuts. I might as well show you guys all the other badges on my account right now. As you can see, we have the highest level badge in the game. We have the Elite Street badge. Although I didn't play much Elite Street, but we still have the badge, which is cool. I wish I had a higher one, sadly, but I don't. Scrolling down, you can see I have all the badges. Minus, minus the arena badges, because you can see I only played one arena game ever. Arenas were yucky and smelly. But we have all the event badges, every last event badge to ever come out of the game we have, which is absolutely awesome. I think it's really cool that I have them all. Some of these event badges look absolutely and utterly insane. I love the little snow ones, they're so cool. Look at the snowman, look at the penguin. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Pineapple. Hey, you can't you can't hate pineapple, especially when there's a messy pineapple. Little aliens. And of course we have Watson themselves. I have uh I have 8,242 wins on Watson. Kind of a lot, not gonna lie, kind of a lot, kind of a lot. Also, little interesting thing for you guys. I have 11,253 games with five or more kills on Watson. Like I don't know, I, I personally feel like they should increase badges in the game. There should be more than a 20 bomb, you know? It should be like a 25 bomb badge, a 30 bomb badge, a 5,000 damage, a 6,000 damage badge. There should be more badges that can evolve doing things like this. Like, there's no reason I should have this many of this badge without it going up and increasing. Same for the wins. I wish they had that kind of stuff. They sadly don't, but... Classic Apex. I don't think I've ever seen anything more classic than Apex's server shutting down while I'm recording the video. All right, we're back after the game shut down. But if you scroll down and see, we have a crazy amount of rank badges. We have Masters or Pred in every season. Uh, at the moment, there is a big glitch where everyone's badges got reset to bronze. So these are all either Master or Pred badges, um, but they did get reset to bronze. But yeah, they're all Master or Pred badges as well, which makes the account worth even more money. Then the newest things added to the game, the weapon trackers. As you can see, we currently have 19 weapon trackers. I think there's 27 guns in the game, so we're getting close to having them all. Um, but yeah. As you can see, some pretty high level ones there. The Flatline's my favorite. You know, it's a level 106, my baby of a weapon. Uh, R3, I'm not really a big R3 user these days, but it's level 70. My Mozambique's level 32. My Kraber's level 45. 82 on the Hemlock, 92 on the Havoc, etc, etc. 61 on the Wingman. Bring it back to floor loot, please. Talking about weapons, I will show you all my individual kills in every weapon and all the skins for them, all that kind of cool stuff at the end of the video. So if you want to see that, hang around till then. Now, all the unique, special, and rare skins for every legend in the game. We'll start off with Bang and work our way through all of them. And as we do, I'll not only show you the skins, but I'll also show you my stats in every legend in case that interests you and you can see, you know, which legends I made the most. Obviously Watson, but still. So for Bang, we have about 3k kills, 4k 20, which is absolutely awesome. But most importantly, skins, if we go over here, you can see that I obviously have the heirloom prestige skin fully maxed leveled as well i definitely personally think i actually like the third level on this you know i like the little head i think it looks absolutely awesome but bang's rarest skin the rarest skin for bang we have to scroll all the way down down to one called air raid air raid is one of the rarest skins in the entire game not just for bang it is only owned by 0.0002 percent of players I was originally in the store back in 2021 and was in a loan purchase for a thousand Apex coins. So it wasn't a part of a bundle, nothing like that. So very, very, very few people bought it because, well, look at it. It's uh, not that good looking, eh? Maybe if it like glowed in the dark and I was glowing the dark paint, it could be amazing. But it was very basic, not really good. So basically no one bought it. And now for that reason, it's super rare. Uh, kind of in the same vein, Nerves of Steel was also a super rare skin back from the Iron Crown event all the way back in the day. Not many people own this skin, but most importantly, the legendary skins. Let's go have a look at them. There are two legendary skins which are actually super, super rare. First off, it is going to be Super Soldier, which is right here. This came out with the Bangalore edition of the game and that ability to buy has been gone. You can't buy the Bangalore edition of the game at all anymore. So getting this skin now potentially could be impossible to ever get again. And for that reason, almost no one owns it. Pretty cool looking skin, just like a superhero. I like it, kind of nice. And then along with this, there is also Dress to Impress, which is right here and came out with the Fight Night event all the way back in season seven. Has come back in the store a couple of times since then, but it's still a super rare uh, skin that not many people own because I'm a guest once again, look at it. It's not very good looking and who's honestly gonna buy that? You know, if you're gonna be playing Bang, you're gonna wanna be using one of her amazing looking skins. Or, you know, you could just be a snowman. This is gonna be the ugliest skin in Apex. Why is there a snowman? <laughs> 
Bonus bank skin info as well. Apex Overdrive used to have an insane glitch for it, where Bang would go invisible for all but a head. Bang used to be just a floating head whenever you were using this skin back in the day. Uh, so you'd run around completely invisible, minus the head, and you'd just shoot people. It was actually insane. And as you can see, we own all of her emotes, all of her hollow sprays, quips, skydive emotes, finishes. Uh, this one's locked because I'm not I don't have the skin equipped, otherwise you'd be able to use it. But simply because I don't have the skin equipped, you can't use it. All of her heirlooms, honestly, that I showed you earlier, bang, all banged up. Now, time for Wraith, the OG legend, everyone's favorite. I currently have Marble Goddess selected, kind of a weird choice there. You know, maybe we could switch over and be a bit of Lyric with Flashpoint. Maybe we go Fade with the final sunset, or maybe the most used skin in the entire game, Asus Liberator. It doesn't matter what you use, all the sweaty Wraith skins all look amazing. Protector of the Void, one of the OG rare skins, has a really, really, really rare Wraith skin as well. Absolutely amazing, called Queen's Protector, I believe. Absolutely amazing. Along with this, we also obviously have all of the upgradable prestige skins for Wraith. All leveled up fully as well. Look amazing. We have the Final Fantasy event Wraith skin. We have, I believe this one was from the Post Malone event Wraith skin as well. We have them all. And there, as you can see, we have 93 of 93 Wraith skins. And with Wraith skins, I feel like it's kind of weird. I feel like they're either really good. Like, you know, some of these, for example, they're really, really good, really amazing skins. Void Specialist, my personal favorite skin. Or then, you know, you, you come down here and you get something like this. And you're like, what the hell were they even thinking? <laughs> uh... Wave Shift here is actually one of the rarer skins in the game. Came out pretty recently during a recent event, about a year and a half ago, but not many people bought it. Pretty unique, pretty cool looking skin, little pirate kind of wraith. As for rare skins though, of course we could go all the way back to Airship Assassin, one of the OG rare skins in the entire game. But as Apex love money, they have brought this skin back into the game like 10 times. Uh, so definitely not rare anymore. I wish Apex actually did something like Fortnite. When Fortnite brings back an OG skin and re-releases the skin, they make a small, tiny change to it. Kind of like a recall, but a very small change so you can always tell who had the original and who didn't. I wish Apex did that. I think that'd be absolutely so cool. Now, as for super rare skins, Wraith doesn't actually really have many. Simply because they like putting Wraith skins back because so many people play Wraith, so they make more money selling them. <laughs> but, uh, ironically, two of the rarer skins are actually Christmas skins. I know, right? Christmas skins. So weird. Uh, the first one of those Christmas skins being the festive presents one here, you got like Mrs. Claus kind of style. I don't know if you guys like this, I personally don't, it's not my favourite. I mean the candy canes on the side are kind of cool. But this one is extremely rare, but one of her least used skins, I believe her least used legendary skin in the entire game. So that's kind of a vibe. And as for the other rare one, which is also a Christmas skin, we're going to scroll all the way down to epics, and that's going to be this one. Um, I think you guys can see why it's rare, because obviously it came out, it cost a bunch of Apex coins, and it looks like this. So uh, yeah, absolutely nobody bought it. <laughs> uh, then there is also Overclocked, which is a super rare skin. Came out in the early system override event for Apex, and once again, not very good looking. So not many people bought it, and I think it has come back once, but yeah, no one really bought it again. But in general, Wraith has a bunch of amazing skins. Like, even if you go down here to the OG skins from Season 1, like Survivor, really cool looking skin. Royal Guard, kind of nice, actually. Wraith looks kind of good in purple, not gonna lie. It actually looks pretty good. What is this skin? I've never seen this before. Visualizer. I can't tell if I like it or don't. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like this Wraith skin? And what is your favorite Wraith skin of all? I'm sure we all have our opinions on which is the best, which is the worst. There's so many to choose from. So let me know in the comments below, which is your favorite Wraith skin? Mine is personally Void Specialist. Uh, and now, little Wraith skin secret many of you guys may not have known. In the early seasons of Apex, Marble Goddess was glitched on Wraith and she had a no reg issue. Every single time you shot Wraith, you'd get no regs because the skin was bugged and it was in the game for weeks before Apex did anything. Little race fact for you there. But yeah, as you can see already, if I didn't show you, I have 8,000 kills and raids, five, 600 wins, uh, 4K, 20. We have all of the frames as well. All of the poses, obviously. Uh, emotes, we got them all. Even the, uh, where is it? Wait, where is it? Even the sweaty one. I love it so much. Uh, all of the finishes and everything else there is. Now time for Fusey Boy. As you can see, I'm not the biggest Fuse player, only 1,500 kills on him, almost 1,600, 100-ish wins. But I do have the 4K20, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, as you can see, we have all his poses, all his frames, all the badges for Fuse themselves, uh, all of his motes, all of his finishes. But most importantly, his skins and which are the rarest for him. We have 73 out of 73 Fuse skins. Uh, we're currently wearing the best one because the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie Fusey boy. Uh, he's got a Hawaiian shirt on. What more could you possibly want in life? Uh, but one of his rarest skins in the entire game. 
scrolls us all the way down to the epics where there are two rare epic skins and that is going to be festive decor which is right here that came out all the way back in the summer splash bale of 2020 so right at the start of the game um come back a couple of times since then but as it's not the best looking skins not many people buy it although if you do zoom in it has got like a little miniature fuse to the rocket there which i think is pretty cool uh flickering ember is also a pretty rare skin for fuse came out during the collection event in season 12. uh come back to the store a couple of times but not many people bought it because well it's fuse and it's this but legendary skin wise he has two skins that are actually super rare as well one is going to be called bored to death this was from the season 9 algs store sale uh, it's returned a couple of times as well, but not many people have bought it. And when it has returned, it's always been bundles with Apex packs and stuff. So it's been super expensive. But he's meant to be like a uh, safari kind of man here. I guess it's kind of cool. Looks kind of vibey. You know, it donated money towards the LGS prize pool. So that was really cool. I wish Apex do more things like that. And now, while this skin that I'm about to show you is extremely new, it is one of Fuse's rarest skins. I think it is his rarest legendary skin. Golden Grenadier. This did come out in 20, May of 2023, but it was very, very, very expensive. It was part of a bundle where you also got like a hollow spray, a charm, a rampage skin and some other stuff, but it cost 4,600 Apex coin. So banger looking skin, absolutely insane, but it's only been in the store once. It was in a bundle and it was super expensive. So not many people own it. It'll probably come back at some point, but for now, it's super rare. Also, Fusey with blue hair goes kind of hard, not gonna lie. I don't mind that. I don't mind that, Fusey. Let's go. Also, have you guys seen Fuse as, as Father Christmas? He kind of vibes it. He kind of does it pretty good, eh? What about Azus Grosseiden? It's a vibe. Now, it's time for my girl, Watson. My main, as you can see, I am a big, big, big Watson sweat. 121,000 kills in Watson. Obviously, the 4K20. All that kind of cool stuff. We have all of her banner frames. Although, just saying, the one I use right here is one of the rarest and the best. I love it so much. Well, not the frame. I should say the pose. The pose is absolutely amazing. I love it. Hot wired. Almost no one owns it. It's absolutely amazing. Looks cool. Very unique to me as well as almost no one else uses it. I love it. Uh, we have all of her finishes. The one that she has. <laughs> and, of course, we have her heirloom as well, which is super cool. Energy radar. Although, we don't have it equipped. Ooh, ooh, weird. Anyway, back to her skins. Now, this is the time where I have to get sad and have a conversation with you guys. There's this skin that came out at the very start of the game for Watson. Season 2. Sweet Dreams. A Twitch Prime skin that I do not own. The only Watson skin I don't own. One of the very few skins in the entire game I don't own. So, any Apex devs, if you guys want to, you know, throw me Sweet Dreams somehow. I'll love you forever. Please. I want the skin so much. It has unicorns on it. It's colorful. It's awesome. That's sad. But, uh, obviously, her other rare skins that she has, you know, the likes of Dynamite and My Main, less than, you know, 0.2% of players own this skin. Absolutely amazing. Although it is in the item store right now, so you could go buy it and get it and then pretend to be me. Maybe you want it to be yourself. Uh, Silver Age is another really rare skin as well. I'm actually kind of surprised by this one being a rare skin. I think it's largely just because no one uses it. It's been in the store a couple of times, and it's honestly a pretty good-looking skin, so I'm assuming this one will become less rare when it comes back to the store again because everyone will purchase it. But Electric Blue, now this skin actually is really rare because it's a pretty old skin and it was a pretty expensive skin to buy when it was in the store and almost no one bought it. I believe another Watson main called Low Key Ross runs this skin. It's kind of like his skin, like how Dynamite's mine. Absolutely insane skin. I think it looks awesome. Very unique to its own style. Watson looks amazing. Her little eyes, look at them. They're so blue. I love it. It's actually amazing. Then, of course, you know, we have the other likes of her brand new skin from the Final Fantasy collaboration event. Then we have other skins like here. Current Champ, my original skin before Dynamite came out. I don't know about the hair in that one, I'm going to be honest. Solar Static, one of the newer skins that everyone absolutely and utterly loves. But let me find a special skin for you guys. I mean, not Thunder Kitty. I mean, we all love cat girls. Wait, what? Huh? Shocking, uh, so shocking stuffer, that was hard to say. This is actually a really rare skin for Watson as well. Obviously a Christmas event skin that came out a very long time ago, back in 2021 or 2020, I believe. Um, owned by less than 1% of players in the game. It's super cute though, super nice. Even, I, I love the little eggshells that she has for her knee pads and the little, you know, elf feet. It's so cute, I love it so much. Big issue with the Watson skins though. Every time anyone has anything on the head, any feathers or anything, they always move and wobble in the wind. This one doesn't and it makes me so sad. Rest in peace. But, as you can see, we own all the Watson skins from my girl, because she's amazing. She just got an amazing new skin, as you can see here on screen, for the current collection event. Absolutely nuts. Amazing skin. Hired muscle. Looks absolutely insane. Uh, as for banners, my kills, and about a thousand again, hundred wins. Nothing absolutely crazy. 4K20, like always. We have all of the banner frames, all of the poses, etc, etc. All of the emotes, finishes. 
etc. Everything you want to see. But the skins! Um, sadly for Mad Maggie, she doesn't actually have any insanely rare, crazy skins. There are only a few players in the entire game have or anything like that. Um, she has one that not too many people own. That's called Mari Warrior. Uh, and that's largely just because it came out in a bundle and was super, super expensive back in 2022. But it has come back to the store a couple of times since then. I'm going to be honest, not the best looking skins anyway. So no biggie if you are missing out on it. Although the, the knee pads are kind of cool. Oh my god, toes! She has toes! Oh my god, get the toes away from me. Um, but yeah, as you see, we own all the skins. Got Tropical Punch, where she's got the ice cream cones, I believe. Yep, ice cream cones on a belt, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, I have all the Mad Maggie skins. They're not that most amazing, but Mad Maggie's a lot of fun. She is one of the most fun legends in the game. One of the strongest legends in the game. You should definitely go give her a try if you guys haven't. Now, Pathfinder time. As you can see, we currently got one of his new skins on. But over to his banners, I actually have five and a half thousand kills on Pathfinder. There was a legend I used to love playing back in the day when his grapple was ridiculously OP. 4k20, couple of wins on him as well. Uh, all his banner frames, all the poses you could ever think of. And everything else that absolutely is to have on our Pathfinder be man, including his boxing gloves. Meow. Um, but back to the skins. Skins wise, Pathfinder used to have the rarest skin in the entire game. This skin was literally owned by 0.000001% of players at a point in time. War Thunder. It was one of the first skins to ever come out in the game and be purchasable, and then didn't come back into the game to be repurchasable for years and years and years. So it was one of the rarest skins of the game, no one owned it, but then it came back and everyone bought it, so... Yeah, now it's no longer super rare. Uh, in terms of other rare skins for Pathfinder, there is Joyfinder. Of course, it's a Christmas skin. Love it. Look at him. He's like Santa Claus. Uh, but that came out in one of the first ever events in Apex. During Christmas of 2019, Mirage's Holiday Big Bash, uh, this came out. It has come back to store a couple of times since then, but not many people bought it, so it is super, super crazy rare. One of the rarest skins in the entire game. You almost never see anyone run this skin ever. I actually want to equip it. I like it that much. I'm equipping it. Joy Finder's on. Oh, I almost forgot. The best part about this skin as well is in the middle of his chest. It's got a little smiley, happy face there with Christmas lights. I love it. Um, as for other skins, there is also Sunfire Initiate, which I believe is a rare skin. Just a normal rare skin, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong here. I lied, it's an epic skin, but here it is, not a very good looking epic skin, but it is super rare, and the reason for it being super rare is it came out in Season 1 during the Legendary Hunt event in 2019, and then it did come back to store a couple of times, but hasn't been back in the store since 2022, so a year and a half, two years since it's been in the store, so people have not had a chance to buy it, and people that used to, you know, own it and play the game don't play the game anymore, so the amount you see this and that it's used is decreasing over time extreme amounts but i do own all the pathfinder skins 85 out out of 85 you can see them all here got the full metal robot which is really cool i love the different legs on the boot on it it looks absolutely amazing wrong path what's this one? Oh my god that's crazy what even is that ah! and the other rare skin is that of unicorn topia not actually rare at all but he he has unicorns all over him so how could you not love it <laughs> absolutely amazing i love it so much it's awesome but yeah as you can see i own every single pathfinder skin in the game to ever come out although apart from the rarest pathfinder skin that's because i physically can't own it when Nintendo Switch was launched, there was a Pathfinder skin that came out on that. I believe it was called Path with full stops in between, so P-A-T-H. One of the rarest skins, but was for only for Nintendo Switch, and as I'm PC, obviously, I can't own it. But we have every other single Pathfinder skin you could ever want, including this little pink one, little doggo on the back. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. I love it. But I think Pathfinder overall, out of all the legends in the game, I think he has the best skins. Like... Some of the unique things they do with Pathfinder is absolutely amazing. Some of the skins absolutely slap. Whether you like, you know, the crazy lava scary looking ones like that, or no, the cute little Joy Finder ones. There are some absolutely amazing skins. Maybe you like have a little mustache, a little bow tie. It goes absolutely hard. There are some absolutely amazing skins for Pathfinder. Octane Time, one of the most played legends in the entire game. He has the second most skins in the entire game as well. One skin behind Wraith who has 93, and Octane only has 92. Uh, quickly, we're going to put on my favorite skin for Octane to start with. Meow, let me scroll down and find it for you and I'll chuck it on. Dasher, there we go. You want to know why it's my favorite? Because googly eyes, googly eyes. If you move, they move. <laughs> and it's a reindeer. Christmassy. Kind of cool. Kind of a vibe. Octane does have a few rare skins, but similar to other legends, not as many as they once did. Apex never used to re-release skins back in the day. Once they came out, they were only there. They were done. They were once there. But then, I guess, I guess they got tired of making new skins. They didn't start doing collabs or anything like that. And they're like, hey, we're just going to re-release skins because it means it's no work for us and we can make lots of money doing it. So... There are not many rare skins left in Apex for that exact reason, unless they were exclusive. Although Apex did change its uh, laws and rights, so they could re-release uh, exclusive skins back into the game, which kind of sucks. 
He does have Omni Shadow, which is a reskin of El Diablo. Uh, this did come out in, I believe, Season 8 and has come back in the store once since then, but it's still pretty rare in reskin of El Diablo. It's still pretty rare because it only has come back once, but I don't think it's the best looking skin ever. I think El Diablo is better to start with. There is then also Run the Streets. Run the Streets. It did come out in a bundle for 2,500 Apex coins all the way back in the Black Friday sale of 2022. Come back into the store once since then as well. Um, I see what they were going for here. I see what they're looking and trying to do. Not really my kind of style of skin. But yeah, it's one of the rarest skins for Octane. Almost no one uses it. Less than 1% of players. Next up, we have Hothead. I think this is actually a really cool skin. I think with a few small tweaks, this skin could look amazing. I love the idea of it. I think it suits Octane really, really well as well. Came out in the 2023 bundle. Was really expensive. Uh, hasn't come back to the store since then. Um, absolute banger skin. Now, this next skin is going to be an extremely recent skin to come into the game. It's called Sun Warrior. I believe you get a certain special select animation screen with this as well for Octane, which is amazing. I think this skin's absolutely insane. I think it's absolutely amazing. For some reason, not many people bought it when it did come out, but I think it slaps. I think it's awesome. I think it, once again, suits Octane so well. I like that they've even done his feet up there to make it look awesome. But now, if you guys want to go see the rarest skin for Octane, we have to scroll all the way down here and go to Hot Pursuit. Hot Pursuit. Not the best looking skins I know, but that's probably why part of the reason it's rare. This came out in season one during the legendary hunt event all the way back in 2019. So you had to play then to get it. I don't know personally if it's come back to the store or not, but it's pretty ugly. So even if it has, no one really, really bought it. And this has a less than 0.0001% usage rate. Um, yeah, not many people own it, not many people use it. And you can definitely tell why, but I do have every single skin there is in the game for Octane. As you can see, it's a lot, a whole 92 of them. Victory Lap, by the way, one of the best Octane skins there is in the game. I love it so much. Quick scroll them there. You guys can see all the Octane skins. Oh my god, so many. The real question is, though, who's going to get to 100 skins first? Is it going to be Octane with 92 at the moment or Wraith with 93? We'll have to wait and find out. Now, my kills and everything in Octane. I have 7,000 odd kills in Octane. 4K, 20, almost 500 wins. Uh, we have all of his banner frames, everything else there you could ever want. We have all of his poses, uh, all of the emotes. All of the finishes, including the brand new one, overstimmed. It looks so cool. Look at it go. <laughs> and of course, both of his heirlooms. Now, Revenant time, as you can see, uh, currently using his brand new skin that came out of the most recent collection event. Absolutely amazing skin. Look at it. It goes so hard. The knife's on his chest and all. Absolutely amazing. Uh, as you can see, 4K20. Uh, also, 3,000 kills in Revenant. Too many kills in Revenant, I know. I apologize in advance. I'm sorry, but... Look at my tracker. I have made Revenant all small. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of vibey. We have all his poses, all his frames. You just saw it. Absolutely everything else. Skin-wise, Revenant doesn't really have too many rare skins. Rare skins in Apex, as I've said a few times now, are kind of not a big thing because they all get re-released. Um, but he does have some absolutely amazing skins, including his prestige skin. Look at this bad boy. Ooh, fully leveled up as well, of course. Have a quick scroll through, see a couple. Of course, Revenant does have the two different view up player models from when he did get reworked as well. This one looks like a chicken for some reason. This looks so much like a chicken. Why does he look like a chicken? A watermelon chicken? Watermelon chicken. That's actually so cool. I love this other one goes back into like the lore side of it, former glory from, from the person that Revenant turned, you know, turned from. Actually looks absolutely amazing. Mail order monster. I don't know why I'd ever order a monster in the mail, you know, but just saying, just saying. Buried at sea? Oh, it's like, um, it's like, a, oh, that's actually so cool. It's like Davy Jones's locker kind of style stuff. That's actually nuts. I like that. That's really, really, really cool. But we have so many Revenant skins, 76 in total, as you see, if we scroll down all the way, we have so many, so, so many. Oh my God, Deadly Teddy. This one's actually super, super rare. Deadly Teddy is one of the rarest skins for Revenant that there is. I don't think I've ever personally seen anyone use this before in my entire life, but it's a pretty cool looking skin. Look at it, it's like a werewolf, but it's like all white as well. I'm equipping that, that's actually nuts. This is actually such a cool skin. Wait, he has a Christmas skin? Oh, that's right, it goes into this style. Banger skin as well. I don't know if it glows in the dark, but if it does, that's amazing. Dude, he has toes. Oh my god, he has toes. No chill. He's like, they called him No Chill, and it's Revenant, so, you know, No Chill, because it's Revenant. Plus, he's got a little, like, uh, you know, hoodie on. That's kind of vibe. I like that. I like that. But as for his rarest skins, we have to go down all the way into the epics. One of them is going to be From the Deep. From the Deep came out all the way back in 2020. Come back in the store a couple of times since then as well. He's like a little pirate revenant looking pretty cool. Nothing absolutely crazy. And then Gorilla Ghoul is the other rare, rare, rare one. This came out in Season 8 and has come back a couple of times. But the reason why it's so rare is it is a reskin. So you have to have the original, obviously, to then buy this after. Uh, and this is a reskin of From the Deep, ironically. So it goes from this into this. <laughs> I guess that's what makes this so rare. 
I, I think it's pretty cool though. It's a vibe. Nothing special. You know, nowhere near as good as our current skin. I like, uh, excuse me. Our current skin, probably the best skin in the game. Deadly Teddy. Absolutely nuts. Now it's Horizon time. One of the most popular legends in the entire game. Currently got her new skin on for the new event. Looks absolutely amazing. They've somehow made Horizon look absolutely utterly insane. As many of you guys know, one of my most hated legends in the game though, because of how strong and annoying she is to fight, but she has some amazing skins, including the uh, Final Fantasy VII takeover skin. The collab looks absolutely amazing. Hidden Blossoms one, insane. Super massive, what's this skin? Oh, that's that one, that's really cool. Uh, as for rare skins though, she doesn't have too many rare skins. She has a couple, but nothing crazy. God damn, she has a lot of skins though. But, talking about rare skins, here is one of them, Player 3. This was a bun this bundle skin from 2023. Uh, did cost about 2,500 Apex coins. Not too many people bought it as its bundle, and it's one of her least used skins, with only 0.002% of players using it. Otherwise, for rare skins, she has one right above it, Neon Stardust. I think you guys can see why this one's <laughs> this one was rare. It uh, was actually her launch bundle, so this came out with her when she very first came out, all the way back in Season 7 in 2021. Cost 1,800 Apex coins, and I think for that reason, not many people bought it. Although, honestly, the hair moves when you move her side to side. It's pink. A pink mohawk! What more could you want? Definitely set yourself apart and stand apart from Mother Horizon mains with this one. Uh, then she also has one called a Deep Space, Deep Space Scientist, uh, which once again came out really recently. It cost about 3,000 Apex coins and was part of a bundle, so not many people bought it. Apart from that, she doesn't have too many crazy rare skins. I mean, she has a lot of really cool looking skins. Like, look at this, oh, it's insane. But she doesn't have too many super rare ones. If we want to find her rarest skin, you have to scrape below zero. I love this skin, I think it looks absolutely amazing. Sorry, I got, I got distracted. I keep getting distracted, I'm sorry. Ah, I love skins. But if you want to find her rare skin, you have to scroll all the way down to the rares and you have to go through her orbit one. This is her least used skin with less than 0.0002% of players using it or owning it. Uh, this was gained from watching ALGS uh, on Twitch. So if you do through Twitch drops and it is super rare, I guess you can tell not many people claimed it or bothered to watch to get it because it looks like this, but that is her rarest skin. Otherwise, though, Horizon in general just has a lot of amazing skins. Wait, what? Shouldn't there be a skin here? I'm so confused. Oh, it's the camouflage skin, so I can't... Ah, tricky Apex. Tricky, tricky. I apologize for that joke. I have to do it. I have to do it. I'm so sorry. As for my stats on Horizon, though, I have about 2,000 kills on Horizon, 100-ish wins. Nothing too crazy. 4K20 like I do for others. There are all my uh, frames for her, so you can open every last one of them poses we own all of them as well of course and everything else there is to own Wait, she has a mirror oh no it's not a mirror never mind it's a big sword one oh it's the final fantasy sword one i haven't seen this kind of basic honestly kind of basic kind of basic uh all the hollow sprays quips all the skydiver motes and everything else you can think of all the finishes wait is it the event horizon finisher oh she gives the big sucks there <laughs> now valkyrie time one of the most impactful legends since the game when she came out, changing comp apex, changing pub apex, and just honestly looking absolutely amazing. Uh, I have about 1300 kills in this, not too much, but I do have a 4k 20, which is absolutely awesome. All of her banner frames, all of her amazing poses, do a barrel roll. <laughs> and everything else you could ever want to have on Horizon, which is awesome. All of her finishes, take a bow. Oh, she's angry, she's angry. Come at me, bro. Oh, cook some food. Dude, she looks so happy to cook that. That's actually nuts. I love that. All the hollow sprays. Ghost and Viper. Ah, of course. Of course. Her father, Viper. Titanfall. I love Titanfall. I miss the game. All of her finishes as well. That I do have. I just don't have her skin selected, so I can't use it. But her skins and her rarer skin. She doesn't have too many crazy rare skins. But I do own every skin she has. So let me show you them quickly before I show you the rare ones. Of course, we have her prestige one fully maxed out and fully leveled up as well. Then we have the Final Fantasy collection one. I'm not a big Final Fantasy player, so I don't really know what this is meant to be. I'm not the biggest fan of the skins. So don't hate me for that, but I'm going to be honest. Uh, but we have all of her skins here, as you can see, too. She got those shades on there, dude. She got those shades on. I love this one. I think it looks absolutely utterly amazing. But where is my favorite Valkyrie skin? It's not this one. I think this is the recall of the one that I really like. Here it is. My favorite Valkyrie skin. I think this one slaps. I don't see anyone ever use this skin, but I love it. I think it's the best Valkyrie skin in the game. I think it's absolutely awesome. As for her rarer skins, it's not this one, but Fade Light is one of the least owned legendary skins. I think it is the least owned legendary skin, but it's still not anywhere near the rarer skin at all. Because her rarer skin, after we look at the one, looks like 
Master Chief from Halo is going to be down in the epics. And it's going to have an interesting name and be an interesting skin. It is Gingerbread. That's right, a Gingerbread Valkyrie skin. For some reason, they made her armor all look like Gingerbread. Uh, but this came from the Festive Frenzy sale all the way back in 2021, just after Valkyrie herself came out. It's come back to the store once since then, uh, but is her rarest skin. And she looks like Gingerbread. Yeah. Uh, she does have one other super rare skin as well, and it is called Aligned Vectors. This also came back out all the way in 2021 and has come back to the store once as well, but no one obviously bought it because it looks like this, so it is super rare. But there you go, I own every single Valkyrie skin in the game, as you can see, including Yukontopia, where she has unicorns all over it. Let's go. Now, Bloodhound time. As you can see on Bloodhound, I have almost 5,000 kills, got the 4k 20 as well, 300 wins. We have all of their banner frames. Force you hunt, that's kind of cool. Oh, those little devils? Oh, they actually look so cool. But yeah, we have absolutely all of them. Down to all the event ones and all the separate universal ones that you can buy. Even the ALGS ones back here that uh, didn't go anywhere, but they still look kind of cool. We have absolutely every single banner frame you could ever want in the game. Of course, we have all Bloodhound's pose as well. Bring it on, baby. Well, that actually goes so well. Oh, that actually looks sick. What? That's amazing. Oh, what's that? Hello. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool as well. But I think that's some really cool frames and poses. That's actually nuts. Um, of course, we have all the intro clips, all that. We have all the emotes as well. I love this one. This is where they, where they throw the fire. It is so cool. Wait, the present one? Oh, what's the present one? You can give me a present, Bloodhound. What? Oh, it's a skull. Okay, I know no, you can keep it actually. I don't really want it. It's okay. I take it back. All the skydive emotes as well, from the OGs to the one where the ravens fly around. Wait, this one's got a dagger in it? Oh, that's actually so sick. But all the finishes as well. Uh, obviously, this one says it's locked because I don't have the uh, I don't have the prestige skin equipped right now. But if I did have it equipped, I'd be able to use it. So I'm going to go back to skins and skins here. We can see, honestly, we do have the prestige skin fully maxed out with damage as well, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, 86 out of 86 owned. Bloodhound's got some of the most skins in the game, most being 93 on Wraith and then 92 on Octane. But I believe Bloodhound is top five for most skins owned, which is really cool. The Intimidator, one of my favorite skins in the entire game for Bloodhound. Bloodhound has so many, and so many good skins as well. They're one of the few legends that actually has so many amazing skins. Maybe apart from that one. That one's kind of not that crazy. <laughs> Young Blood, such a good skin. I, I love it. The Centurion, one of the old rarer skins in the game because it came out in the Iron Crown event back in the season one of Apex, but it has come back to the store a few times since then, so it is no longer that crazy rare. We're playing Doctor. I know there's a lot of people's favorite. I like Royal Guard. I think it's absolutely insane. But when we talk about rare skins for Bloodhound, when it comes to Legendary, there's two skins that are kind of rare, but they're not like anything crazy. And that is going to be... That is going to be Whistling Winter, a Christmas-inspired skin for Bloodhound. Came out in the 2023 Festive Fenzy sale uh, in their very expensive bundles. Not many two people bought it. Apart from that, then, there is also going to be Royal Livery, which came out in Season 8 Golden Week sale and is a reskin of Royal Guard. So, obviously, you have to have Royal Guard in order to have this one. That's why it's so expensive. It has come back into the, you know, the recolor shop a couple of times, but it's one of the two rarest legendary skins, but not nothing crazy. If we want to get to the rarest skins for Bloodhound, we have to go down to the Epic and to the normal rare skins. In Epic, we have Cyber Hunt. Cyberhunt is the rarest epic skin there is for Bloodhound. Came out in Season 4 during the season, uh, System Override Collection event. Uh, has come back to the store once or twice since then, but it's pretty goddamn ugly, so no one ever buys it because no one ever wants to waste their money on something they'll never use unless, well, you're me. Uh, then the rarest skin for Bloodhound that there physically is is going to be that of a rare skin, and it is called Bejeweled. I think I have it up here, actually. I do. Um, you can see why it's very rare because who would in their right mind ever want to own this? But it came out in Season 5 during the Lost Treasures event of 2020. Uh, come back a couple of times as well, but once again, who in their right mind is going to buy this? When in reality, all you really need is Flamingo skin. Flamingo skin absolutely slaps. Now it's Crypto time. One of the legends has been in the game for longest while not being an OG legend, but at the same time, one of the least pick rate legends in the entire game. I personally love playing Crypto. I don't play much, but whenever I do, I always win and have great games. I have 3k kills and a couple hundred wins, 4k 20 as well. We have all of his banner frames, including the heirloom one. 
I don't know why there's a stalk there. I'm sure someone in the comments told me, but it's pretty cool. He has some pretty cool banner frames as well. I love like the blueprint style myself, so that's absolutely amazing. We have all of the poses, including the one I'm using. My favorite, let it ride. I love how he fist bumps hack. I lied, hack waves. Ah, close enough. Ah, uh, we have all of the emotes. Absolutely all of them. Oh my god, he has so many emotes. Oh, there's the fist bump. I lied, I knew it was there somewhere. There it is, there it is. Then we have the finishes, including the new one, the fatal error one, this heirloom recolor. Pretty basic, but also pretty vibey. I love that. Uh, Skin-wise, he has an insane amount of skins. 77 skins, including the new one from the Final Fantasy Collection event, which is absolutely amazing. Fuzzy Logic? Oh, he's got that pool table coat on. Wait, it's a classified one? Oh. oh, dude, look at those glasses. Yo. Oh my god, he raised his eyebrows at me. Ah, Crypto, what are you looking at? Get away from me. Um, so here you can see that we have every single skin that there is for Crypto. What's Serenity? Yo? He looks like a Tekken character. That's actually so nuts. I know Hired Gun's a very favorite one between all cryptos. Oh, Hype Beast. Hype Beast goes kind of hard. Spectrum, worst internet company in the world on his chest. As you scroll down, you can see we have heaps and heaps and heaps of skins for crypto, including one of his rarest skins, Neon Winter, the rarest epic skin crypto has. It was from the 2019 Mirage Holiday Big Bash event. Come back a couple of times in the store, but not many times. Wait, we have one called Patch Notes? Oh, it's not really that cool. Uh, as for other rare skins, before I show you the legendary ones, we'll go to his rarest skins, which are always the rare ones for some reason. I guess people just don't like them, maybe. That's why they don't buy them. Um, wait, there's a Lucky Charm one. Oh, it's got four leaf clovers all over him. That's actually so cool. I love that. Uh, but these ones are going to be Cool Operator, which came out in the Holiday Store in 2020, then came back in 21 and 22. Oh, I actually think this skin kind of slaps. I had never seen it before, before I was uh, doing research to put this video together. But it is his least used skin in the entire game and least owned. And I think it's really cool. So cool that I'm actually going to equip it. I think this skin slaps. It's kind of unique as well. Uh, then we also have Sweet Synergy, which I believe is basically just a reskin, re -skin, re -skin, It's not an official one, but basically is. Uh, came out during the Season 7 Fright Night Collection event. Come back a couple of times as well, but I mean, it's not very good looking. It's not many people buy it. As for legendaries and the uh, rarest legendary skins we have, no, it's not the elf one. I know some of you guys may like Elvis in pointy ears, but it's not that one. It is going to be these two here. First up, we have Nomad Observer, which came out in Season 8 uh, during one of the events there and then has come back, but only come back in bundles, so not too many people have bought it. And then we have Midnight Cypher, which is actually a recolor of the Deadly Bite skin from the Fight or Fright event in 2020. So, of course, being a recolor, it's always going to be... A little bit more rare because you have to have the base version in order to get it. Next up, we have Seer, one of my most hated legends in the entire game. I'm not a big fan of wall hacks, and I don't think they should ever be in the game, especially air over effect wall hacks. Uh, so I'm not going to show you too much and talk about him too much because I just simply don't want to because I don't like Seer. But you can see we have a couple of badges on him. We have 1500 kills, 100 wins. We have all of his frames. I'll just show you quickly just so you guys know that I own everything there is to do with him. Your health, there is nothing healthy about you, Seer. You're terrible for the game. Uh, Skin-wise, Sweater Weather is one of his rarer skins in the game. Um, but he doesn't have too many crazy rare ones. But as you can see, I own every single skin for Seer. But I hate Seer, so I don't want to talk about him anymore. So I'm going to scroll that really fast. Bang, there you go. And uh, yeah, get out of here, Seer. Vantage now, she's a relatively new legend to the game, so she doesn't really have any rare skins. She actually only has 51 skins in total for her. Uh, as you can see though, I do have the 4k 20 for her. Got a little over 700 kills on her, 50 wins as well. She has some pretty cool banner frames and stuff, and of course she has Echo, who is the cutest. Echo is absolutely amazing. He makes Vantage what she is, because um, otherwise, unless you're G-Dolphin, she's a pretty bad legend. Not that good, or maybe Bear. Bear's kind of cracked at her as well. Um, Skin-wise, I'll just show you that I have all of her skins. She has one called Nightcat, which has got little ears on, which is kind of cool. Ice cold. Dude, look at those goggles. Oh my god, they're kind of crazy goggles. I want some goggles like that. They're awesome. Wait, beautiful bat? Oh, I thought it was going to be something to do with Echo. Not the biggest fan of it, sadly. Um, But yeah, she hasn't really got any super rare skins, but here you can see that I uh, have all of her skins. Oh, I showed you we have all of her banners, but I do, I do want to quickly look at some more banners. Wait. No, that's a lie. I want to look at the emotes. I'm sorry. Uh, emotes, because surely Echo's in some of the emotes, right? Not in that one. There we go. Echo! High five. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Echo? The present? Oh my god, Echo still in the present? Let's go, Echo. <laughs> but there you go. There is Vantage. 
Now time for one of my favorite legends in the entire game, and I'm sorry that I have this skin chosen. I don't know why he has a pink mohawk right now, but Gibraltar! Quickly, I'll show you. I have two and a half thousand kills, 200 wins on Gibraltar, 4K20. Little Nessie badge in the middle. Got all of his uh, frames as well. Gibraltar is so cool. I love Gibraltar so much. Gibraltar is actually nuts. Probably my favorite legend, minus Watson, maybe. I love playing him. I think he's such a high skill gap to play as well. He is absolutely amazing. Big brother. Oh my god, he's giant! Oh my god! Uh, I got all these badges, got all these emotes as well. He has some really cool emotes. Look, where's the one where he goes surfing? Is this it? He skated on his arm shield! I love it. I think it's so cool. <gasps> he plays a guitar! Oh, there's no audio of him playing in here. That's so sad. I love it when he plays the ukulele and you hear the audio of it in game when he's flying down from the skydive emotes and he plays it. It's so cool. But yeah, anyway, as you see, we have them all, including the best finisher in the entire game, Force of Gravity. Meow. <laughs> but skin-wise, 81 out of 81 skins for Gibby. I kind of wish they'd make more skins for Gibby, because Gibby's absolutely amazing. But as you can see here, we have every last one of them. Wait, what's the bass drop called? Oh my god, it's DJ Gibster! That's actually amazing. I did not expect that. We even have Brother Bear, one of the best skins in the game. But we have every single skin for Gibby. OG skin from the collection event, uh, Iron Arms, sorry, from the Iron Arms event at the very start when the game first came out. As for rare skins though, he doesn't have too many rare skins these days because a lot of the skins have been brought back so many times. But some of his rarer skins include the likes of Born in Blood, which came out all the way back in 2020 during the Fight or Fright uh, event and was very expensive. Then he also has Fallen Guardian, which came out in the 2023 Fallen Angel Store Bundle that was very expensive and hasn't come back since. Uh, he also has Gentle Giant that came out all the way back in the Season 9 collection event and hasn't been back in the store since. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty ugly. It's not that great. But, you know, it, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, and then, one of all, he also has Court Executioner. Kind of rare, but not really. But then he also has one of the skins with the best name in the entire name, Chrome Dome. Um, he kind of looks like Silver Surfer from the Fantastic Four a little bit. Definitely Chrome Dome. But yeah, that's our good old man Gibraltar. We're going to watch him sit on someone's face one more time. And now let's move on. So, funnily enough, I was making this YouTube video as the mid-season update was about to hit for season 20. And I went to make some food while the update was hitting. I came back and I opened Apex and I have been reset to level 1. If you compare these stats to the stats I showed you at the start of the video, I've lost about 10, 15,000 kills. About 10,000 kills as well. Um, a lot of those kills on Watson, my highest kills, has changed down to 25 when it was 29. Um, a lot of people on Twitter are saying that they lost heirlooms and all that kind of stuff. But I had a quick look. I haven't lost any heirlooms, so I'm pretty happy, happy about that. Um... People also saying they lost Apex coins and craft materials, which I didn't lose either, which is crazy. I'm sure this will be fixed by Apex soon, uh, but I just wanted to add this into the video as I thought it was honestly pretty ironic that it happened at this point in time. You know, not even on April 1st, on April 2nd. Guys, they're done on April 1st, you know, it could have actually been funny, but yeah, instead, no. Um, but yeah. Also, yeah, here's my baller badge to show you how many legendaries I lost. And for some reason, my account level is now back to 405, even though it says one on the home screen and I was max level before that. Show to see you. I, I'm so confused. Apex, what have you done? Now it's lifeline time. My original first ever main in Apex. I can see we've got the new skin on from the current event. Looks absolutely amazing. 83 out of 83 skins owned on lifeline. But before I show you those, my stats. We have 6,500 kills on lifeline, 4k, 20, 400 wins almost. Like I said, she was my original main. I love her. She's amazing. She has so many cool banner frames. Oh my god, this one actually goes so well with that. We're putting that on. Wait, let's feel the beat. Nah, it doesn't vibe. It doesn't vibe. But I think we go with the one we have. Let's kill her medicine's good. That's all right, that's all right, we'll stick there. Uh, we have all her poses as well, of course. Currently got a shock stick one on. Badges, like always, we have them all, and all of the trackers and all that. Emotes, she has some of the best emotes ever. But whether she's breaking it down, dancing, playing with Doc, maybe riding Doc. They all are absolutely slap. Finisher-wise, some of the best finishers in the game as well. This finisher you're seeing on screen right here is actually the most pay-to-win finisher in all of Apex, as it is the fastest finisher in all of Apex as well. So if you want to get those finishes slightly faster, there you go. Anyway, back to her skins though. She doesn't have too many crazy rare skins, but some of her best and rarest skins for that matter are going to be Angel of Death. This came out back in, uh, I think, Season 14 during the Black Friday event, uh, during the sale then, and was in a big bundle, so not too many people bought it. Then she has a couple of epic skins that are pretty cool in Jammer and Snow Crystal. Jammer came out all the way back in 2020 in the Summer Day Splash event. And 
Snow Crystal came out even earlier than that in 2019 in Mirage's Holiday Bash event. As for other rare skins, the only other really crazy rare one is going to be that of Blow Blossom. Well, kind of that of Blow Blossom. It also goes with Blossom itself as well. Um, these two skins are pretty rare. They're used by under 0.0001% of players in the player base, which is actually crazy tiny when you think about it. They're pretty cool looking skins, to be fair. I, I think I like Blow Blossom, or Bow Blossom, I should say, more than this one, though. Actually, slabs. Actually, it's such a really cute skin. I've never seen anyone use it before. I love it. I'm going to equip it. I like this skin. It's mine now. Mwahaha. <laughs> but there, as you go, you can, as you see, I have all the lifeline skins that they have to offer. She has some amazing skins, honestly. Lifeline skins, Loki, absolutely and utterly slap. Oh, this one used to be super rare. This one came out in season, I think, one, maybe two? No, it was in season one as well. This one used to be super rare, but it came back to the store a bunch recently. So sadly, no longer near as rare. But brain candy. Ugh, that's not very nice. Anyway, that's Lifeline. Now, Mirage, Mirage, Mirage. Usually, I'd go into depth and talk about all the skins and tell you which one's the rarest, all that kind of stuff. You know, Mirage has some absolutely amazing skins, although not too many rare anymore as they've all come back. God, he actually has so many skins. Holy Jesus Christ. Everything from Tin Man to him ready to go out and do whatever that outfit gets you going to over to Fool's Gold, maybe even Old Town. He's got some pretty banger skins. They're pretty insane. But the most important and the best skin for Mirage in the entire world. Gone bananas! He has, he has bananas all over him. What more could you honestly want on Mirage? This skin absolutely slaps! But as you can see here, I, uh, I do own every single skin for Mirage apart from one. Folk Hero. I don't own it. I'm hoping it comes back to the store. I want to buy it. It's the only skin I don't own, I believe. One day I'll get it. Doesn't seem like today is that day, but I'll beg. I beg one day I will get it. <laughs> Oh, and Snake Charmer. Snake Charmer was really rare, by the way, if you guys didn't know. I think it did come back to the store recently, but this skin is really rare. It's like less than 0.02% of players own this skin or something. Um, honestly, kind of creepy with that eye makeup and liner and stuff. I mean, it's not my style, but you know. There's Mirage. Oh, also for Mirage, I almost forgot. I obviously have 4k20 on him, two and a half thousand kills almost, almost a couple hundred wins as well. I don't play too much of him, but I do play a little bit of him here and there, as you can see. We have all of his frames and all of his poses, Mr. Wit's poses, all of his trackers, all of his emotes. He's got some pretty cool emotes, to be fair to him, including this one. <laughs> I think the best thing about Mirage, like, obviously, apart from the banana skin, is his finishes. His finishes slap. They're so cool. Oh, this one. <laughs> they're so good, they're so good. Now, time for Loba, one of the most fun and honestly best legends in the game. Uh, as you can see right here, I have, oh, oh, why is it out of order? Oh my god, it's so weird that it's out of order. I have a 4k20, uh, I have 2,000, 2.3,000 kills, 163 wins. Uh, as you can see, all of her frames, all of her poses, and absolutely everything else that goes with it, including her finishes. God, oh, she's vicious in that one, holy moly. Ooh. Um... But, I mean, if we're talking about Loba, there's, you know, something that we need to talk about a little bit more, isn't there? Uh, it's an emote, and I think it is called... Sorry in advance for this. Close your eyes, kids. Anyway, uh, skins that we own of her and skins that are rare on Loba. <laughs> so, obviously, we have her, um... Her special one here, and it is fully leveled up. Her prestige skin, fully leveled up, of course. And now Loba has three rare skins. Those are going to be the Banshee Queen, the Hellbent, and the Crystalline Aim Perfection. She has, I have 80 out of 80 collected. As you can see here, here they all are. She has so many nice ones. Sharp dress, looks absolutely insane. Big Bad Wolf, not my style, but I know a lot of people do like it. Root Cat. Oh, that one's kind of cool. I didn't even know about that skin. I like that a lot. Pretty, petty Thief, I saw the Pretty Thief, and I was like, yeah, she's pretty. Wait, does it move on her head? Look at it wobbles, it wobbles! Oh, it's so good, I love that it wobbles. <laughs> but, the rare skin she has, Banshee Queen, uh, it's an epic skin. Originally came out in the 2020 fight or Friday event all the way back then. Honestly, I think the skin banged, I love the blue one. I think it looks absolutely insane, I'm equipping that, I think it's so nice. And then we have the two legendary, the two rarest legendary skins. They're not super rare anymore because they've come back to the store a lot, but they're the rarest one she has. She has Hellbent, which came out in Season 15. So, pretty recent skin, but it was in a massive pack bundle, so not many people bought it. Uh, then there is also the Perfection one. Uh, this one came out in Season 7 all the way back in 2020 during the Holiday Big Bash event, Mirage's one. 
Um, hands on this one are absolutely insane as well. They're nice and little white in game. They look absolutely awesome. The white gloves look amazing. The hair looks awesome. This skin absolutely slaps and is probably one of her best skins and one of her rarest. New Castle time! He's one of the newest legends to come into the game, so he doesn't have many special or rare skins. I guess his Sector 7 skin's pretty rare to an extent. Even though it is really recent, it was really expensive to get and, you know, based on luck to get out of packs. So there's a big chance a lot of people don't have it. Otherwise, he only has 53 legendary skins. He's got some interesting looking ones like this. I always love the fact that he's beard. Oh, wait, what's this skin? This skin's kind of insane. Made event, kind of slaps. Oh, that skin's kind of cool. I always love that his beard's kind of pointy at the end here. It's got three little points on it. I love the points. They're my favorite part about uh, Newcastle. Really strong, really good legend. Ho really high skill gap legend to play. But skin-wise, he doesn't have too many amazing skins. He doesn't really have any rare skins either, but I do own them all, which is kind of cool. This one's ugly as hell. Oh my god, he's got massive feet! Holy moly, they're big! Uh, as for Newcastle himself, I have 1,200 kills on him. Nothing too crazy. All his frames, all his poses, all his finishes. Franchise player. But yeah, that's Newcastle. Nothing crazy to write home about there. Conduit time, very similar to other new legends. She literally just came out, so it's basically impossible to have a rare skin for her because all the skins are either just come out in the store, they're still in the store, or they're just normal ones that you can buy. But I do own every single last one of them. She has a lot of cool skins. These really remind me of Tracer from Overwatch, which I like a lot. This one's really cute. The player one, player two ones with Watson. They're really cute, really nice. But otherwise, yeah, she hasn't really got much to say, much to talk about. I've got 600 odd kills in her. Nothing special. All her frames, all of her poses, all of her finishes and her emotes and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, conduit is conduit. Now, Caustic Time, one of my actual favorite legends, but don't tell anyone I said that because I'll probably get uh, I'll probably get trolled and bullied with that a little bit. I actually have 6,000 plus kills in Caustic. 4K20 obviously is heirloom. Every single banner frame in the game, all the poses, all of his finishes. Oh God, he's going to punch him. Oh my God, Caustic. <laughs> ah, um, but Caustic, he has 81 skins. He has a lot, including the Prestige skin, which is fully maxed out. Of course, of course, of course. He has a few rare skins here that I will show you soon. Have a quick look at his other skins, though, because I love Caustic skins. I think they're absolutely insane. I just, they're all so good. It's so hard for them to make a bad Caustic skin. I love Bloodthirsty. I think it absolutely slaps. Then you got like a, you know, Gladiator kind of style one down here. Then you got a little one with Lord Freezer inside his belly. There's so, so, so many good ones. He's got the Joker style, Gas Buster. Prince of Darkness, one of the OG caustic skins. There are so many good caustic skins, it's actually insane. This one's actually nuts. This is one of the best for sure, without a doubt. This one's actually insane. I don't know about this one though. I mean, he's got Crocs on. Caustic has Crocs. I did not know Caustic wore Crocs. That's that. <laughs> that is so good. What are those? Oh my God, that's terrible. That's the worst skin I've ever seen. Oh my God, followed by that. Anyway, Caustic's rare skins. The rare skins that he owns, started off with the epics first. We have Acid Bubble. This came out back in 2021. Um, and it's come back to the store a few times since, but you can see why no one's purchased it. it it's pretty, it's pretty terrible. Then there's Tiger Blood, which is owned by less than 0.001% of players. This was from uh, season one during the legendary hunt event. Hasn't come back to the store since 2022 either. So you have to be kind of an OG to have this one. It even moves like, it's terrible movement, but it has movement. It's like your mate on the dance floor after he's had too many drinks. Hey, anyway, Barrow last time. This came out during the Iron Crown event all the way back in season two, but was only purchasable through event packs. Been in the store a couple of times since as well, but I mean, look at it. <laughs> now up to the legendary, the rarest legendary one is Noxious Nobleman. It's a pretty recent skin coming out in 2023, so last year, but it was very expensive and in a massive bundle. So while it is an insane skin and a recent skin, not many people bought it. Although I do just want to say, Caustic trying to take after Octane down here. Just saying. And there's also Silverback, which came out during the ALGS event where they were raising money for the ALGS prize pool. Uh, not the most used, not the most owned skin in the game either. And you can probably tell why. Now we move over to Ash, one of the slightly newer legends to the game. Uh, Banner-wise, as you can see, 4K20, 1,300 kills in it, almost 100 wins again. Uh, we have all of her banner frames. We have all of her poses, including the early one. Um, we have you know, all the trackers unlocked, etc., etc., etc. All of her emotes, all of her finishes, her heirloom there, as you can see, the nunchucks. But most importantly, the skins and the rarest ones. But she does have one skin that is relatively rare, and that's just because it was so, so, so expensive. It's called Eternal Rain. 
So let's have a quick scroll down and find that. As you can see, all my other ones as well. Eternal Rain, here it is. Uh, so this is similar to the Fuse one we just saw as well from the same event. It was in a bundle and only purchasable via a bundle. The bundle cost about 3,000 Apex coins. Um, super expensive, you gotta cover up the skins with it. Skin honestly looks really cool, but Ash is not the most played legend. Uh, very expensive bundle, so when you put those two together, not many people bought it, and it's pretty rare for that reason. But here are the rest of my Ash skins that you can see as well. And we do own all of them. What's this birthday one? Oh, that was from like the anniversary event for Apex. Did she have a Christmas one? <gasps> Wait, Ash does have a Christmas one. That's a birthday one, I'm, I'm silly, I'm dumb. She doesn't have a Christmas one, that's so sad. Wait, she has an octopus one? Oh, it's like a sea critter creature. Okay, fair. But yeah, there are all my Ash skins. Nothing crazy for Ash, sadly. One of the newer legends to enter the game, Ballistic, I believe, coming in season 17. Uh, as you can see on the balance, we only have 300 kills in him. Not many, as I'm not a big Ballistic player, not the biggest fan of them in total. But we do own all the banner frames, every last one to ever come into the game. Uh, all the poses as well, all the emotes, all the finishes, and everything else that is for Ballistic. Skin-wise, he doesn't have any rare skins at all because... There's been no time for a skin to become rare. There's no, been no time for it to come into the game and then disappear with no one getting it. Uh, the rarest skin he does have, though, is called General Destruction. This was his launch bundle skin. I believe it cost 3,000 Apex coins. So it came out with him. It is still extremely widely used, but based around all of his other skins, it is the rarest one that he has and the least used legendary skin that he has. Probably because it's not that great looking compared to a lot of his other ones that look absolutely insane. But yeah, there's good old Ballistic Boy. Grand part time. Uh, relatively new legend to the game, oh, kind of new. She does have 68 skins in the game, but she's still pretty new to the game. I have almost 2,000 kills on her, 4K20, all of the, you know, frames, all of the poses as always, all of the finishes. This finish is really cool. Oh, wait, maybe? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't know why, but I like that finish. I think it's awesome. I mean, in, in both, I should say. But I have everything there is for Rampart. She doesn't actually have any rare skins in the game at all because she's so new to the game. But as you can see here, I do have all of her skins. I love this one. Shy Flox. I believe it's what the number one Rampart uses, sorry. And I love it. I think it's I think it's her best skin. I love it so much. But they are all the skins for Rampart. Deep Freeze. Yo, she got some mad knee pads down there. This one's really cool. It's got like frozen stuff all over it. I've never seen it before. Oh, this skin slaps. But yeah, anyway, this is that's all the Rampart skins. You can see I have them all. And last legend out of all of them is going to be Catalyst. Relatively new legend to the game as well. I only got 50 skins because not many people play her, so they don't put skins out for her because not many people are going to buy them. But you can see that I do have all of them right here. What's that one? Ooh, she looks kind of nice there, I'm not going to lie. Not my favorite of legends in the game either, but a super, super crazy strong legend. Have all the skins, have all the banners, I only have 600 kills on her. Poses, have them all, emotes, we got them all. I love this one actually, this emote's really cool. She makes herself like a throne to sit in. It's nice, it's cool. Talking about weapons though, I will quickly take us through all my kills and weapons and stuff just so you guys can see on the account. I'll do this really fast, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, but we have almost 8,000 kills on the Havoc. We have 22,500 kills on the Flatline. I think I'm like top five or 10 in the world for Flatline kills, which is pretty cool. Uh, it is my baby of a weapon, so I love it. Almost 6,000 kills on the Hemlock. 17,000 on the R301. Only 1,000 on the Nemesis, not really a big Nemesis user. Uh, submachine guns, 9,000 the alternator. I love the ulti, it's a great gun. Only 4,000 on the Prowler, 22,000 on the R9, 7,000 on the Vault, 5,000 on the car. Not a big LMG user, but 2.5k on the Devo, 3.5k on the L Star, 6k on the Spitfire, and 3k on the Rampage. Now to mask some weapons, once again, not a big user of them. 2k on the Scout, 2k on the Triple Take, 1,000 on the 3030, 700 on the Bojack. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, look at the front of the- Oh my god, shot! 600 on the charge rifle, 1,000 on the longbow, 1,336 on the Kraber, most in the entire world, which is such a cool stat. I still love that I have that stat. Uh, 500 on the Senti. That's not many, because I love the Senti. It's such a fun weapon as well. Sad I don't have that many on it. Pistols, we have 2.5k on the RA45, 1,500 on the P2020, 16,000 on the Wingman, and last but not least, the shotguns. I actually have an absurd amount of shotgun kills as I am a mouse and keyboard player and shotguns are extremely good for mouse and keyboard users. We are so close to 10,000 kills with the EVA. That's actually really cool. 8,800 with the Mastiff, the big old Stiffy. 
4,000 with the Mozambique. I do believe this puts me in top 5 or 10 Mozambique kills in the world as well, which is absolutely awesome. And 12,000 with the PK. And in total, we are 1,349 in the overall levels of all the weapons, which is pretty cool as well. Now my highest ones again, Flatline, Havoc, R99, all above 90, one above 100. And last but not least, charms. We have 457 out of 457 charms. That's right. There is 457 weapon charms when there's only 27 weapons in the game. So you most definitely can't use most of your charms, but I have every last one of them that's ever come into the game, including this amazing looking golden Nessie, or the most expensive charm ever that has only ever been able to get through an extremely expensive bundle that cost almost $100. So technically this watching charm is worth about $100, kind of insane. Maybe you're more the uh, Pathfinder bobblehead kind of style, Loba bobblehead. There are so, so many. I would show you all these, but the honest truth is there is just so many, it's basically impossible for me to show you every last one of them. Oh my god, it's a spider! Ah, spider! But I can have a quick scroll down so you guys can see the ones you like if you want. Click on a couple, like a little robotic bug, or another Nessie. There's so many Nessie ones. Oh my god, I love the Nessie ones. They're actually so cool. A demon? Oh my god, that is a scary demon looking head. You know, some of these charms are actually insane. I think charms low-key kind of slap. Oh my god, the Nessie ones are so good! Like, they're money ones, they're kind of cute, but... Oh, that's actually really cute, to be fair. Oh, there's some such nice ones. What? There are so many charms I didn't even know about. I just own them. Dude, I'm not even halfway through my charms yet. What? You ready to see the fastest goal you've ever seen? Meow! I probably just missed so many good ones. Oh, this one's... Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a little robot man! Oh, it's a hat! Evil hat. Toil and trouble. Meow. Wait, fortune cat? Oh, it's a little cute cat. That's actually a lot. I love that. I love that. Female shepherd? Not sure what that one's for. Maybe someone in the chat can tell me. Comments, I should say. I thought that said garlic bread for a second up here. I thought it was a garlic bread. I was so excited, but it said garlic grenade. Oh, I imagine that was garlic bread. I love garlic bread. Also, this may get me cancelled, but cheesy garlic bread is nowhere near as good as normal garlic bread. Normal garlic bread is a thousand times better. Fight me. Oh, also, is this the chicken? It is the chicken! I love chickens. We have every single charm, all 457 of them. <laughs> um, that's just weapon skins. Oh, I guess I should show you my weapon skins. I have every single weapon skin to ever come out for every weapon. I think I'll just scroll through like this for all the weapons. I don't think I'm going to show you individually because that would take me a very, very long time. But I can quickly do it just like this for all the weapons. Cue some cool music that we're going to put over right now. Oh my god, this has been taking so long. Meow. We have all the weapon skins. Yeah, page. Worst skin ever. Do not use this skin. It's pay to lose. If you guys really want to see the skins as I'm scrolling through them really fast, um, you guys can slow the video down to like 0.25 speed, maybe when I scroll. But if I show you every single skin, this video is going to take literally five hours. So I'm oh my god, the charge Yoshi! Best Kraber skin. And there you go. All of the weapon skins. There you go. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. Let me know what is your favorite part of my account or how much do you think my account's worth. Um, but that should be absolutely everything on my account. Most expensive account in Apex Legends. I own every single skin in the game minus about five or six that I will one day get when they come back to the store. Uh, don't forget, in the store at the moment also is... Dun 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 dun. The best skin in the game. Make sure you guys go buy it. And uh, yeah, much love. Keep being awesome. Also, the giveaway I talked about is for a level 1 account with 4 or 5 heirlooms on it. All the information is over in this video, so go give it a check out, and uh, maybe you can win the account with lots of heirlooms.